CW, that's Channel 32. Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic. COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy is different depending upon where you live and your life experiences. Well, now some new data is helping us to understand some of the why behind these disparities. Elise Haas digs into the data this morning. She talked with an associate professor at Oregon State University to find out what's keeping folks from getting a shot. Elise? Emily, Professor Marion Cesario says that what we know from the literature and from recent polling that there is a broad continuum of vaccine confidence and hesitancy. And the reasons behind people not getting vaccinated are varied. For some, she says, there are still logistical barriers like transportation to a vaccine site, concerns about cost or requirement of medical insurance. And in these cases, making sure people know vaccines are free and helping eliminate that transportation and other barriers is critically important. For others, Misinformation and even disinformation may be an issue among family and friends or what people are seeing on the internet. And for some communities, distrust may stem from the experience of discriminatory practices in health and health care. And in those cases, the professor says one important strategy is working with locally respected community members to help address any questions or concerns. Physicians, public health, religious and other community leaders and respected voices can be very important for communicating up to date, accurate information about the vaccine. According to a recent research project from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, data published on a weekly basis since January has really shown tremendous reduction in vaccine hesitancy across the country, particularly from January to May. But since then, the director of the project says it's trended back up somewhat. And while there is some vaccine hesitancy in the Pacific Northwest, which you can kind of see all of that blue area there, it is nowhere near the vaccine hesitancy that we are seeing across the country, which is seen in red. So the researchers also found that some people are reluctant to be vaccinated because of fears about side effects or as yet unknown health consequences. And for others, particularly those on the far right of the political spectrum, some concerns fall into the realm of conspiracy theories. Emily. All right, thanks, Elise. Well, today, somebody 